Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for uninviting my adopted brothers from my wedding after they said I'm not family. I, 32M, and I'm about to marry my long-time girlfriend. What should be one of the happiest moments of my life has instead become a heartbreaking ordeal because of a deepening rift in my family. I'm my parents' biological son, and when I was 12, they adopted two boys, Jack, who was 8, and Liam, who was 5. From the start, it was clear that things were going to be challenging. Jack, in particular, had severe behavioral issues due to significant trauma, I'll spare the details, but it was intense. I tried my best to be understanding but living with him was incredibly exhausting. His outbursts were constant, and I often felt like I was walking on eggshells, always afraid of triggering him. As we grew older, I continued to try to be there for Jack, despite everything. A few years ago, Jack fell into a devastating drug addiction. I stood by him through his darkest moments, supporting him through rehab, and doing everything I could to help him get back on his feet. It was draining and heartbreaking, but I did it because I loved him and believed that, despite our challenges, we were still brothers. The situation came to a head recently at a Sunday dinner at my parents' house. My son was working on his summer homework, which involved creating a family tree. He innocently asked Jack if he wanted to be included, and Jack just flat out said no. He didn't want to be part of it because, in his exact words, we're not real brothers. He said it so casually, like it was the most obvious thing in the world, with no regard for how much it would cut me to the core. I was utterly stunned, but what shattered me even more was that Liam, who I've always felt closer to, just sat there in silence. He didn't say a word. He didn't defend me or even acknowledge how hurtful Jack's words were. He just let it happen. I've tried so hard to be supportive of both of them, especially Jack, despite the endless challenges. So, for Jack to say that, and for Liam to do nothing, felt like a gut punch. It was as if they were both telling me that I was never truly part of their family. I decided to uninvite both Jack and Liam from my wedding. My fiancé has been nothing but supportive of my decision, but my parents are furious. They've made it clear that if Jack and Liam aren't invited, they won't attend either. It feels like history is repeating itself, with my parents once again prioritizing Jack over me, no matter how much it hurts me. I'm absolutely heartbroken that my parents would choose to miss my wedding rather than support me in this. I know Jack has been through a lot, but I've done everything I can to be there for him and for Liam, despite all the heartache. And now, I feel like I'm the one being punished for finally standing up for myself and setting some boundaries. AITA for uninviting my brothers after they said they don't see me as family, even if it means my parents won't come to my wedding. Relevant comments Why was your kid even asking him in the first place? That could have hurt them too. As a child it would have never occurred to me not to include my aunts and uncles in a family tree. What did you say in front of your child to plant the idea that he needed to ask them? And did you correct your kid and say that of course his uncles should be on his family tree? You are also to blame in how this rift started because whether intentional or not you also did not correct the idea that you aren't real brother slash family, and it was your child that asked the question. Usually, people feel uncomfortable correcting other people's children in awkward situations like this. It falls on the parents to talk to their child and get to the root of things. OOP Because he's five and just wanted to show off what he was doing. I have never said anything to plant an idea that they aren't my brothers. He doesn't even know they're adopted. Not because it's something we hide, just has never been something we really discuss as a family. At uncles slash aunties to the family tree was an optional extension, and he said it in a way of come and help me add you in if you want to be not, you don't deserve to be in the tree. You're honestly clasping at straws here. I have no issue with someone labeling me to H, but don't just make up context to decide it. I don't blame them or him for his drug addiction. Jack and Liam had truly horrible things happen to them both as children. Stuff I won't get into here, but you can understand it was the type of stuff that leaves lifelong scars on you. Even with the buttload of therapy they've gone through. One time Jack spoke to me about how when he's high on drugs it's the only time in his entire life where he doesn't constantly remember and only time he ever feels at peace. Obviously I shouldn't be the one who is constantly picking up the pieces of him, but I can 100% understand why he got into drugs. He's still an asshole though. 
the family tree and Jack's comment, was only the catalyst for the argument that happened. And yes, there would have been no issues with Jack being included in the family tree. Update I'm honestly still reeling from everything that's gone down since my last post. First off, thank you to everyone who took the time to comment, I've read through all your advice, and it's been a lifeline. But buckle up, because things have taken a wild turn. After hearing from so many of you, I decided I needed to talk to Liam. We met up at a pub, and I just laid it all out there. How hurt I was when he didn't say anything after Jack made that awful comment about not being real brothers. I was half expecting him to defend himself, but what I got was something entirely different. Liam confessed that he's been living in fear of Jack for years. He told me he kept quiet that night because he was terrified of setting Jack off, not because he agreed with him. Then he dropped a bombshell. Despite being Jack's biological brother, he's felt just as much of an outsider in our family as I have. The constant pressure from our parents to cater to Jack's every whim has worn him down too. Liam assured me that he's always seen me as his brother and that he regrets not standing up for me sooner. Hearing that was a huge relief. He's completely on my side now, and we agreed that if Jack can't respect me as a brother, he has no place at my wedding or in our lives. But just when I thought things couldn't get more intense, my parents decided to make everything worse. I sat them down and explained why I uninvited Jack, hoping they'd understand. Instead, they threw down an ultimatum, if Jack isn't invited, they're not coming to my wedding. No room for discussion, no empathy, just flat-out refusal. I was gutted. After all these years of putting Jack's needs above mine, this is how they repay me. I couldn't hold back anymore. I let out all the anger and frustration I've been bottling up for years. I told them how I've always been the one sacrificing how they've always prioritized Jack, and that I was done being treated like I don't matter. I made it clear that if they choose not to come to my wedding, they're making their choice, and I'll make mine. With that I walked out, leaving them to stew in their own decisions. Out of nowhere, Jack started bombarding me with the nastiest, most hurtful texts I've ever received. He accused me of turning Liam against him, of ripping the family apart, and had the audacity to call me selfish for abandoning him. He ranted about how he never felt like he belonged in the family, and how it's all my fault for pushing him away. His words hit hard, but they also opened my eyes. Jack has spent his whole life blaming everyone else for his problems, and I've been his favorite scapegoat. This time though, I'm not letting him guilt trip me, I didn't even respond, I just blocked his number. If he can't see what he's done wrong, then there's nothing more to say. Liam was livid when I told him about Jack's messages. He's more determined than ever to support me, and we've decided to go low contact with our parents until after the wedding. Liam's been a rock through all this, helping me with the wedding plans and making sure I'm not dealing with this mess alone. So the wedding is still happening but with a much smaller guest list. My parents haven't reached out since our argument, and at this point I don't care if they show up or not. This day is about me and my fiancé, and I'm not letting anyone, not even my own family, ruin it. Thank you again for all your support and advice. I'll keep you posted if anything else happens, though I'm really hoping my next update is just about how amazing the wedding was. Fingers crossed. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.